Oh, I have to stop it. Is that what it is? What? I don't understand. What? Why would that spin it and do nothing? How do I... So it spins it around. I don't see anything changing. It's blocked off. So it's done a 360 here. If I do it again, I'll spin in the opposite direction. This is the back. And this is the front again where it's the portal because it's blue. So if I can't go through it, what's the point? And if it spins around 360, like what can I do to affect it? What? This is so weird. It's like I can't do anything with this. I don't understand it. Can I stop it when it flips around? What did that do? What? I, I don't understand. So I can keep spinning around if I want it to. have to shoot it through the blue side? It doesn't exist on the blue side. What? Oh. I saw it. Akio, come here. Donnie Leviosa. Oh, it's just to get the chest? Not even a good chest. Alright, I finally understood it. It was weird because I can only affect the the blocks but I can pull the chest when it becomes a blitz it's weird it's mind screw for sure Rebellion. definitely interesting but not sure if I like that uh that puzzle no that's one of those a box in here oh there it is what was that? Uh, why does this big ornate chest have a Wigan weld? Oh, another big boss room? Yeah, I can do that. Where is the shinies? Oh. Hello. Ouch. Didn't. Expelliarmus. Oh, summer you were through the portal. There
Thank you. Come to me. Ow! I'm busy comboing, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Big guy? Is it the same big guy? Oh, it is. a different like varied up fight it's just gonna be the same fight again i guess it was varied he had a weird mace attack that was what a relief blockable and totally punishable Rebellion. but um yeah not impressive in the slightest that was terribly boring all right let's go see what's in the pensive these giant stone statues are creepy and bizarre you guys got a little bit better taste you know that What's my reward? Uselessness! They need to work on the reward system in this game. It's awful. Alright, let's see these memories. You can give me a little orby thingy that doesn't really make sense. It's just arbitrary shiny. Oh, it's not there now. There it is! Whatever this is. Shoved in my pocket somehow. Now for the memories. I must say, I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in? Oh, she was ready. Please have a seat. Isadora. <laughs> We are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. 
On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Uh, you're not probably supposed to do that. That sounds like a bad idea. That is an interesting wand, though. Isadora. That looks vile and sinister. What have you done? I took his pain. What else are you taking? This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. That looks like the same energy that Ranrock is channeling. He's basically channeling negative power. Negative emotion power. That's... That's bad. That's what was sealed? You had that sealed here? That's... That's not something you want to harness. The power of negative emotion? The power of You're pain? Back. I'm and very much one back. Piece, no less. Indeed. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What did you remove from her father's chest? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. The trials are basically completed and learn this cautionary tale of why we don't do certain things. I can see through my cloak, through my shoulder. That's not great. There's no internal textures there. Or, no, that doesn't make sense from that angle. I can't be seen through the sleeve. Yeah, there's just no internal uh, textures there. You can see right through it. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Yes, who's next? Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How did you pronounce that? How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. Cool. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. How do you we do that? We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed, I should. Oh, right. I shall confirm that everything is in Her order immediately. Her portrait should be in the headmaster's office as well. Of course. So she knows Professor exactly what's going Fitzgerald on with Professor Black. Professor some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. We'll do. Very well, Professor. All right, Professor Fig, anything to say? I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. I sure hope well he's okay. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. All right, and just kicks me out. Oh, it is frozen winter time. We've shot past fall now. So it takes them a full season to prepare. So by the time we finish this, it'll be summer. Or rather, a full school year. Oh, winter's in full swing, huh? It's snow and everything.
Hey, I'm back in my dorm. It's been a while. And my cloak is folding up on itself. I'm gonna say, read mail? How much mail is there? Okay. You know, it says open quest log with escape and hit F to read mail from the owl. I'm hitting F and I'm not reading the mail. It's just opening up the quest log. Which is... Oh no, wait, there it was. But is there anything new? I can't actually tell. I don't think anything is new. Yeah, no new quests either. Until I, like, step forward like two feet there we go Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers I have some news about them as well can you meet me soon I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you oh boy when you have a moment please stop by the room of requirement Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts aha uh -huh. This is a room. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm. Bombarda. Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. That's level three lock. I keep forgetting where the actual exit is here. Because it's upstairs, isn't it? I always get confused because I'm, you know, more likely to go downstairs to leave than upstairs. It was definitely upstairs. How you doing? None of you have the friends that I've spoken to. I've always said that well, I've opened this. Broadens the mind. All right. I'm too afraid to venture out alone with all that's going on. I'd like to retire to Hogsby one day. Open. You're talking. I'm hitting buttons to try and open my quest menu. But I have one assignment. Are you sure about that? Fire and vice. Oh, Poppies is the main quest. Got it. Professor Howen's, uh, Howen's assignment. Acquire a Duracall with a knapsack. I have to find a Duracall. Acquire a giant purple toad. I do need that to learn Bombarda. And Fall of the Dead. Talk to Deke. Alright. Let's do this. I have to go find a Duracall and a purple toad. And I'm sure there's stuff out in Hogsmeade as well. Just waiting to be discovered. So let me see. Yep, there's a quest there. Talk to who? Crispin Dunn in the Three Broomsticks, looking for someone to check on a friend. Is that friend also dead? Anything out here? Uh. Oh! It tells me where to find them! Sweet! Easy enough. And I'm not seeing quests out on the map. But it is possible that it's just talking about uh, Professor Howens. So let me go to Keenbridge and fly up there to do all of the things up there. There's three things, so let me get all of them. Finally, a new spell. It's been a while. It has been a while since I've gotten a new spell. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. It is also very cold now. I can definitely head up here. Now, what will it be? Will it be a Derricall or a giant purple toad? Oh, pause. Where is it? I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Take care of it while I'm here. Revelio. See where it is? Oh, it's. Oh, I don't know what this is again. It's weird crystal one. Do I need bombarder for this? Incendio. Good friend. All right, never mind. Forget that one. There's a castle up here, and there should be ancient magic hidden away as well. Which will be useful. There's another Merlin trap here. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Oh, okay, so the ancient magic there, the Merlin trial is here. I don't want to work with goblins. Not now, not ever. Rookwood's gone mad. Revelio. What is this one? 
There's a destructible there. Ah, it just break the orbs. God, I can do that. And it's telling me that there's ancient magic nearby as well. Rebellion. Really? There we go. Rebellion. Where are the others? I see the Derek calls, it looks like. Where are the other breakables here? So they're not showing up in Revelia. Not right now, I'm busy. Perhaps it's dinner I'm hearing. I'm not seeing Rebellion. where these other breakables are. This could prove dangerous. Hmm. Hang on, would you stop? Arrest the momentum. Reparo. Not Reparo. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Leviosa. Really? There we go. Where you going, huh? I got you. What was that I just got? Yourself. Derek, I didn't even notice the I mean, gender. Know. But I'll grab one of each. There we go. Revelio. Again, I'm not seeing where the orb is. Should be like one more here, orb or so. I need you to not be here right now. Thanks. Like, it's not showing up when I use Revelio, is it? Which is confusing, because it totally should. Which means it's... Far away, or what? Where is this last ball to break? Akio. Revelio. Oh, are they in here? That's dumb. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. That was stupid. It's hidden like all the way in the opposite end. Oh well, first it did it. That's when it was hidden behind a breakable wall. Which, uh, hello. What you all doing here? You weren't here when I last showed up. My eyes close. Expel the office. Accio. Incendio. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Seriously? You've heard many of them. You're the one. So are our goblin count. Well, there. How do you all know about things I've done? Most of these are like, supposed to be secret. Oh wow. Bye. Well, they showed up. That was weird. Rebellion. Also, uh, I heard about. I heard Sebastian say something about going to the Undercroft again. So, gonna figure that one out. So much to do. Am I gonna get another unforgivable curse? Where is it? Up here? Ah, there it is. Really? From the smallest spiders? I didn't even see it. I just no scoped it. No scope that one too, because I'm trying to break through the barrels. Revelio. Where to go next? Eight legs is simply too many. No oh, falling down. Uh. It did go this way. So I can burn this. Good for you. Oh, crawling. That wasn't so difficult. There we go. Ancient magic acquired. Not enough to boost my meter though, is it? Uh. 
Ooh, what happens if I climb up this? Ooh, there's more up here. Or did I fly up here? I flew up here, didn't I? Yep. Well, it's fine, because I was trying to grab the bag and fell off anyway. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Dr. Bala just had. And that's 700 away? I can make that. That's easy enough to fly. Rebellion. Look at all the stuff to fight and do. Oh, balloons. I can do that. That's easy enough. Also, for this landing pads, I want to find those. One more. Oh, go up. There we go. Oh, there's a astrology table over there. Oh, since I see it. Might as well. It's so far away, though. At least it should be at the top of the tower, right? Rebellion. I hope. Oh, yeah, there it is. I can actually see it. Down. These rocks have seen better days. Landing should be available right there. I need to make it night, though. At least this one makes sense, because I'm not going to be looking at stars in the daytime. But it's still Here's one of those tables bleh. Professor Shaw mentioned. Oh, uh, it's still really bright out at uh oh I've been here. I just didn't do this because I didn't have the telescope yet. Uh looks like it's Which way is this? Oh, might be this way. Yeah, that makes more sense. Got it. Capricornus. Mermaid goat. I still don't know what that actually does for me. I mean, I'm sure it's just a collectible of, hey, get these things and get neat clothes. But, you know, that's how it goes. Rebellion. There's camps there. There's... I'm hearing big buzzy things. Don't like that. Anyway, I have to go find a toad. I did need those. Because I need the toad warts. So this is good. I need deer call feathers and toad warts, so I can finally get those. And it seems I only really need like two of each animal to do the breeding thing as well. Ooh, we got green. Flip dug bog and defeat an enemy perfect totalis. Revelio. Wait, what are these? Cotton grass dug bog? It's hidden. Ow! Oh, wow, it's waiting to use its sneak attack. So that's me hidden. Oh my god, oh my god, dug logs. Terrifying. Oh, I could've... Let's wait for them to just ready its tongue attack, which is the block. Not that one. Incendio. Defendo. 
Not that one. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. It's great. I just shot in Farius. And now the Inferius knows about me. Maybe. Can I sneak up on this one? Oh, it totally knows I'm here. Or does it? Okay, it knows. You don't know I'm here. But I know you're up there. So if I can sneak around. Really? Ow. Alright, what if I use this though? Would this do it? It does. This totalis. I have to defeat four Oclitrificus Totalis? Nah, that's too tedious. <laughs> Especially because they're Dugbogs. Dugbogs don't die in one shot. There's giant purple toads. There. Is that an albino? Hang on. Assignment's all finished. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I heard him jumping around. <laughs> you're not purple, though, so that's why you're confusing me. I'll look after you. I saw a couple over here. I wish to make more invisibility potions because apparently it's way stronger uh, invisibility than regular uh, this thing. Yep. It is stronger for sure. Hello. I didn't see you there. Don't know how, but I didn't see you there. How? What? There's so many of you. There's so many of you. Arrest those events. Why are there so many of you? Ow, 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 ow. I don't know how to deal with this. This is a lot. They're so strong, too. Why are Dugmogs so strong? I'm having flashbacks to Jedi Fallen Order with the Octo Bogdo. Except every single one of these is one of them. Alright, didn't care. Cool. Why are you all evil? I frames. Why are you all the strongest? That'll work. That won't. Expelliarmus. Ah, that's a waste because that one's already almost dead. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Almost gone again. Ah, oh, really? Expelliarmus. Incendio. Confringo. Defendo. Protego. Stupefy. Rependo. Descendo. Incendio. Oh my god, there's so many of them and they're everywhere and they're hurting me. 
Hang on, hang on. I need, I need to use this. Because this is ridiculous. Okay, I think Willis down that looks great. Incending. Not repair, stop it. Okay, but I don't take no damage, so. Keep fighting. Got this. Good for you. Oh my god. Hang on. Uh let's Yeah, let's focus. Stop that. Stop that. Totalis. I can't do that when there's all of them there. Rebellion. But there's a lot of tongues I can use, so that'll work very nicely for me. How many did I just fight? There were so many. That was an absurd amount of dug bogs that did not want to go down quietly into Rebellion. the night. Huh. <sighs> What's over there? Is it more dug bogs? I'm level 31 that I got from fighting all those dug bogs. Just serious Ugdo Bogdo flashbacks. Those frogs were menacing. I guess they were lizards, but still. Uh, merchant. Oh yeah, you're gonna set up immediately? Cool, cool. Uh, I can probably sell stuff. Hey there. Oh, you're a different merchant entirely. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see how good students oh, are during hi. the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service. I met your wife. And I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Yes, she is related. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes. She's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? Yes. I actually met her and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of traveling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Yes, of course. What you got? What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, family antique broom. That looks... Huh. Pick up the moonstone. No you reason. won't be disappointed. I can promise you that. I don't really need Malsweet or Didney because I can buy those. I can craft all of this. doesn't even really matter. Oh, I should have used Mandrake to stun everybody. That would have been good. I can sell this. I can sell this. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. Oh, you're the first person that's actually commented on that. Neat. At least the one that's obviously con commented on it. I don't know if anyone else mentions that they're actually buying from me. But as long as I have, you know, my my pets, um, I should have no problem selling stuff that's upgraded. It's really no big deal. All right, thank you. So nice of you to stop by. Bye. I'm gonna get bombarded now. Uh, Professor Howen's assignments out here. 
I captured some beasts. Thank you for letting me know what those beasts were, though, because I did need them. So that's, you know, fantastic. The beasts are fantastic. I, I you know, I could have worked that better. Give me, give me a second chance. Uh, the beasts are fantastic, and it's great to know where to find them. Nailed it. I spent a lot of time reading the Fantastic Beasts little book. Mooncalves are so... Again, their eyes don't make sense. Those can't be eyeballs. They can't even be, like, conical or, like, um... Like, owl eyes. Like, they're just... They have to be so weird. Oh, look, it's a dragon. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Professor... I, did I take it. it you're ready to learn your new spell. I am. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. That's the goal. Use caution when casting it. <laughs> Is this appropriate since now? Of course. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Excuse me? Go ahead. I like my hand. Now nice touch my arm. Steady wand movements. Remember. What is this wand the motion? Loading charm is highly volatile. All right, that's an interesting wand movement. Put that there. So now I have everything equipped, except for this one. But otherwise, everything is equipped. All five of those, all four of those, and the three I have. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. That's a really cool spell effect, too. Just Explosion. I like that. Like, it's not even like a fire explosion either, because I already have, you know, this Good one. Break. This is like Bombarda. a spark explosion. I like that a lot. It looks super cool. Wonder what that cooldown is gonna be like. Excellent. You have it well in hand. And then if I use my traits. Where is that? I can make it have a bigger blast. Or I can have this have a wide push. Meh. Uh, considering how often I use this, I might actually want to get Defindo to slice through all the things. Uh, let's go with the big blast. Uh, Dark Arts. I mean, I have Crucio this time. I don't know if I want to spec into that. I'm like trying not to use actual curses. And then room requirement. I mean, I can also use some of these. Uh, yeah, so this is like a f true full invisibility where they can't even see you in the middle of combat, but it lasts so short. This extends that. Uh, Adiris makes me totally invulnerable, which considering how that last fight went, um, Yes, please. Try and use that more often. Maxima for more power. I mean, uh, it's just showing the damage numbers, but... Maxima for more damage is nice when fighting against, I guess, uh, Dugbogs. Dugbogs are the most threatening thing in this game aside from Acromantulas, which is such bizarre power scaling to me. I'll save the last one for now. Quests. I did get in the shadow of discovery. Speak with Sebastian in the Undercroft. Okay, so that's not actually um like a big quest. That's here's an intermediate quest. So I can do that. Go through my collections real quick. Is this clothes? Wait, where was it? Where's the one that I just got? There it is. And then traits. I did get a couple traits from exploring. 
Uh, explosive is Bombarda damage, while Destruction is Confringo damage. Interesting. Uh, I want Laceration, though, for the Defendo, so I'm going to need Measles. Where to get those? Because that does a lot of damage. The, the Flying Blades. Also, Swords. I do like Swords, and if you're going to give me Sword in a spell form, I will take it. Uh, defeat 10 Dug Bogs, and then I have to defeat 17 more now. Uh, I need to defeat one more in Fairy to get Necromantic Protection. I have to defeat more bosses. I guess none of those were bosses, huh? All the ones I fought before. More trolls. Ah. What is that ma- a Demiguy's mask, okay. Oh, I got the Autumn Festival coat just in time for Winter to show up. Alright, let's go find what's happening in the Undercroft. Yes, friendo. Where are you? Uh, it is right outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I just gotta go down the stairs. And then around the corner. And I don't have to hide from, a uh, Ominous, because he, he knows I know. Oh, what's happening here? In your mother's shoes this oh, morning. why would you bring home spiders? This is ludicrous. I am putting my foot down quite literally on anything I see with eight legs. I like how that's just a standard howler ending. It's not like it's the person sending it that does that, but it's always funny to punctuate the howler with uh with that. It's like I have to be the extra degree of rude because I'm angry. I wonder if you can customize those to have different endings. Sebastian! Se Se oh, hey. What'd you find out? You'll never believe what I've learned. Well, lay it on me. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. I don't like that. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. That does make sense. I I mean, I didn't use it, but I, I regret it. I never used it. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. Oh, forget it. And I'm glad we did all. it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. You sure you're not seeing and what you, you want to see? this relic might be able to save Anne. Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I won't say a word. I see no reason to involve Ominous. He also I'm glad you it. agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Okay, I look forward to it. And yeah, don't just... feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I agree. He wouldn't I'll like it anyway. What's for my own good. Oh dear. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? This way, do you want to tell you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. You're gonna hate me for indulging him, aren't you? I am not letting this go. This way, I didn't want to tell you. Ominous, Sebastian Manuel. I know what I heard. <laughs> You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I'm gonna need info on that. Uh, what happened? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. 
their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. The problem is, if I leave him be, or if I try to stop him, he'll ignore me anyway. So it's best if I stick with him. Also, it's giving him hope. I agree, though, it's concerning. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. Okay. It would mean a lot. Despite being the gaunt, you're the one who's the reasonable one in this situation. Granted, you are the... Well, you're the white sheep of the family now, aren't you? But you know he's not going to stop, so at least let me be there to watch out for him. You are taller than me. Interesting. You are very tall. Whoops. I didn't do it. Oh. I mean, he's my friend too. I don't know if I can still call Ominous my friend yet, but Sebastian definitely is, and I am conflicted. Hello. Were you waiting for me, or, or what? Is, is that it? Is, is the quest done? Apparently. So I have like two quests here? Three quests? What is this? There's Fall of the Dead, which is, I have it. There's Summoner's Court 3. There's that. There's... Still Summoner's Court 3? What? Why is that listed under... Oh, hold on. What's that there? S stop it. There's something in there. I gotta go check that out. What's over here? Unless it's, like, further underneath. And I don't actually know. What are you up to now? There we are. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. What do you need, Samantha? Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. Yes. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. How'd this happen? He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Oh, no. That's, I mean, it is hilarious, but that, that's mean to say. You're clearly distressed. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. I'm well, trying. It is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. I mean, it's probably to possible. to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. Well, you were right. Uh, he, he definitely needs help. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. 
Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? See, uh, what's her name? The girl with the pimple problem. This is how you ask me to do things. Look at all the cool stuff you've done. Surely you can handle this, right? Not, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> if I help, will my feet become beets? How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. You sure about that? That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Okay. Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. <laughs> but I would never intentionally curse my brother. Not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. So what was he famous for with herbology? Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. All right, I'll give it a shot. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. And I'm going to run into You'll Infra, I'm sure. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. At least you can just give me the crest. Makes it a lot easier, so that I don't have to find it. But I can also go play Summoner's Court real quick. And just go win that as soon as I can. So let me just warp on over to Flying Class Lawn. Let me go win my sports real quick. And the other, other option was the foul thing. Foul? foul? What's it? What's the quest again? Uh, beating a curse. Uh, full of the dead with Deek. All right, and that's uh, breeding animals. I do actually need to know that because I have lots of animals now. But hello, who are you? Oh, it's Grace Pint Smedley. I remember you had the, the astrolabe. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. Of course. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Are those Shall hundreds? Shall we begin? Let's go. I'm game. Elevated well, hundreds, let's huh? let's see what you're made of. All right, Grace, what you got? So perfect score this time would be 300 instead of 150. Oh, look at you. All right, all you right. You didn't see that. Didn't see what? Sid is here, gonna beat your score. Yeah. Yeah. What a remarkable shot. Didn't even use yours to stop. Did it perfectly. Ooh. Grace, you're not the best at this, are you? That's two. Impressive. With Accurate. skill. Grace, don't. Grace, don't. Grace, don't. Thank you. Yeah, I've won. Like, solidly. Now, the question is can I get a perfect score? Accurate. Oh, too much. Not too much. I did it. Perfect score. Impressive. Well, it appears I've been bested. First try. Perfect score. Well played. I mean, not really, but well played. Well done. 
diving, summoner's court. Seems there's nothing you can't do. So it seems. That was a good game. You almost knocked me over, which I got scared about for a second. You played a good game, though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Could have done better. one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. Ah. Uh -huh. I do wish you would take your turn. I will. I... I wish that there were more rounds to dueling, because that was fun, but... Apparently, Summoner's Court is way more important. No, I don't resent Summoner's Court, but I do wish it were, you know, less prevalent compared to my dueling. Rebellion. Anything over here? No. All right, so back to questing. Something's also in Hogsmeade. So there's that. Did that add to my quests? Tangled Web. So I've got three quests and two more moons to find. Somewhere. Anywhere. And the main quest. I am progressing the main quest so slowly. There is so much to do. But I want to do it all. So. Yeah. I'll get around to the main quest again. Slowly but surely. Take my time. <laughs> 